everyone! In this video, I'm going to react to your pronunciation. A couple of days ago, I asked you on Instagram to send me a voice message where you talked a little bit about yourself, you read something in English, and now I'm going to react to it. Before we start, I just quickly wanted to say something. I already made this video a couple of months ago and you guys really seem to enjoy it. And as usual, my intention is not to judge anyone and I invite you to do the same. I really want this to be a safe space for everyone and a nice learning opportunity. Also, I think it's a really cool idea for a video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hi, Antonio, my name is Viola. I'm Italian, but I've been living in Spain for the last 10 years. Uh, before that, I was living in Ireland when I moved there because I wanted to improve my English. And I, I really love to watch your videos because I can see that I have a big vocabulary, but my pronunciation is getting bad uh, year after year. Anyway, I'm uh, again working on it. I really love your videos. I don't know if I already <laughs> told you that. And hope I hope you will pick me. Thanks. Bye. I did pick you. Okay, Viola, you said that your pronunciation was bad. It really wasn't that terrible, I have to say. It's totally understandable and that's what matters the most. Now, if I had to give you one tip to improve it, I would tell you to stop rolling your R's. You tend to say here, Ireland, really. So in Italian and in Spanish, we roll our R's. We say R, R. In English, it's a R, R. It takes some getting used to, but it's really not that complicated of a sound. I'm sure you can master it without any problems. So instead of really, try saying really, really, r, r. Thank you so much for your message. Hello, Antonio. I am Ecuadorian. My name is Celia Panegas. I love your video on Thank YouTube you. channel. I live in a house near the mountains. I have two brothers and one sister. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. So you said mountains. 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 My brothers are very smart and work hard in school. My grandmother also lives with us. She came from Italy when I was two years old. She has grown old, but she's still very strong. She cooks the best food. I'm sure she does. <laughs> So you have a very thick accent, which is not a bad thing, so don't worry about it. But what you need to make sure of, in my opinion, is to enunciate a little bit better, to pronounce words in a clearer way. For example, when you said grandmother. My grandmother. Try to enunciate every single sound. Grandmother. So try working on that. Thank you so much for sending me your message. Hi, Antonio. How is it going? I'm Vincenzo from Naples, just like you. I feel kind of ridiculous by recording Why? this audio message, but mm, I was just curious to know what you thought about my English. Uh -huh. Of course, I know that it's not perfect. It's really Again, good. I'm curious to know what you think about it. And I know that it's still so hard for me to speak fluently, but as you can hear, I'm trying my best. Well, thank you for all your beautiful work and thank you for watching. Keep it up. That. So, Vincenzo, um, your English is really good. Your pronunciation was on point. You know what? You don't sound like you're from Italy, if that makes sense. Like from your accent, I couldn't like if you hadn't told me that you were Italian. I wouldn't have been able to guess, you know what I mean? I could definitely tell that you were not a native speaker, but at the same time, I didn't hear all the Italian inflections and and stuff like that. So that was interesting. But either way, um, you have a lovely pronunciation. You're doing an amazing job. Keep up the good work and thank you so much for sending me your message. <laughs> Someone told me you are a hero. I don't know why. <laughs> but thank you. Hey Antonio, how it's going? I will send you another audio message reading a part of a book uh, so okay. you can say me, um, Tell how, me how good my pronunciation is. One day, a farmer tells a farm boy to take everything out of an old building and throw it away. 
The boy finds a beautiful old piano. When his fingers touch the piano, he begins to play. He closes his eyes and the music comes to him. When he opens his eyes again, he knows that his life is changed forever. The only mistake that I heard is changed. So it's not changed, it's changed, changed. Your pronunciation is really understandable. You have a lovely accent. I'm guessing your first language is Spanish by the way you pronounced your B's. So make sure that um, you actually are pronouncing a B, B sound. So when you said boy, rubbish, rubbish, B. I know it could be a little bit hard at first for Spanish speakers because you have a different way of pronouncing this sound. All you need to do is just this B. B. You need to close your lips and then say it. B. B. Other than that, it was great. Thank you so much, Esteban. By the way, if you guys want to improve your pronunciation, I really recommend trying Elsa Speak. Elsa is an app where you can practice anything that has to do with speaking skills. For example, earlier we were talking about the B sound. They have a section just for that. This is the best vest. This is the best vest. So you will need to record yourself just like I did and the app will give you an instant feedback on what you said. So in this case, I did not make any mistakes. But for example, let's pretend I said something like, this is the best best. See, it tells me exactly what I pronounced wrong the B and the V sound. So if you guys want to try Elsa, I will leave you two links in the description box and in the comment section. With the first link, you can download Elsa and get a free seven day trial. With the second link, you will get a huge discount if you decide to continue with the membership. I think it's really worth trying out. Hello, Antonio. I hope you're doing incredibly good. So my name is Lotfi. I'm 19 Hi, years Lotfi. old and I am from Algeria. I don't know if you ever heard of that country before yes anyways it is located in north africa between morocco and tunisia i grew up in a city called lida i'm a sophomore at the university of lida one major of automation electrical engineering field oh, i've nice. been learning english since 2019 it's a fun experience even though here in algeria our tongue mother is arabic mother tongue. and our second language is french so i found it a little bit difficult to practice my english mm. and um so i decided to join omegle and those kind oh. of sites to improve my speaking skills i just want to let you know that you are doing a great job on social media thank Enjoy you the rest so of much your day. peace out thank you well your practice on omegle has been doing wonders then because your english is fantastic your pronunciation is really good it was very clear, understandable. I don't know what else to tell you. Amazing, Lotfi. Keep up the good work. Good afternoon, Antonio. Good afternoon. I'm Dana Vendano. I'm 21 and I'm from Colombia. I really love English. I'm majoring in foreign languages, English and French. Nice. And I also teach English from huh. time to time. I love languages because they let me connect with people from different backgrounds and cultures because I really find really captivating how humanity is and I also love drawing right now I'm learning how to draw thank you so much for this activity and greetings from Colombia Antonio bye bye Thank you. Bye. You guys are so good. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> no, seriously, Dana, it was good. It was really good. Your pronunciation is very clear. And I was really happy um, to hear you say that you love languages because they uh, they let you connect to people from all around the world. That's true. That's actually the best part about learning new languages. So that's all I can say. Your pronunciation was lovely. Thank you so much for sending me your message. Hi, Antonio. Hi. It's my pleasure to meet you. I Likewise. love your post by Instagram and I love your you. intonation. I am learning a lot. My name is Marbella. I was born 
in Caracas, Venezuela. I had a degree in social communication and another in advertising. Graduated in the University Catholic Andres Bello, the second most important university in my country. Okay, my bad guy. The way you speak is very understandable, which is immediately a positive thing. The only two pronunciation mistakes that I heard that I feel like you can work on are the way you said social. Social. So it's social, social with a sh sound in the middle, social. And then at the end when you said country. In my country. Country. So it's a uh, uh sound country and then try not to roll your r like you would in spanish so not tri but tree country country that's it i hope i helped thank you so much for your message hi there stefania here i'm one of your followers and i've watched your story where you talked about this kind of ch challenge that you came up with and i think it, it is a great idea and it is also like something that could be entertaining and funny so i thought that That's i could participate I, i have to say that i don't like american pronunciation but i do love your content and i would just say just keep going because i love your reels and videos thank you thank you so much stefania well as you said you don't love american pronunciation i could tell that you have a very British accent, and you're doing an amazing job at it. Uh, it sounds really posh, it sounds really refined, it sounds very British. So yeah, keep up the good work. Hello Antonio, my name is Hi. Sarah. I'm from Mexico. I have been learning a lot from you, and I just want you to know that I really love you. You Aww. are an inspiration for me. Thank you. I know my Mexican accent is very strong. So I That's hope you can react to my pronunciation. Thank you so much. That's not a problem, you know. Your accent is lovely. The most important thing, as I said many times in this video, is that people can understand you. Your accent is beautiful and you should not feel ashamed because of it. You should not feel like you're, you're not good at English because it's not true. You did amazing. I did not hear any pronunciation mistakes. And thank you so much for all the lovely things you said. Hi, Antonio. How Hi. are you doing? Uh, this is Ulbikia. Uh, it is U-L-B-I-K-E. But I know that my name is very difficult to pronounce, so... Ulbikia? Did I say that right? You can call me just B. Like B, B with double okay. E. Like a B, you know, bug. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, there is an idiom, busy as a B, that uh, fits me perfectly, I guess. I am great at multitasking, I juggle everything, I am a housewife, you know, I work online, also I love reading books and so on, um, and by the way, thank you for your blog, not only on Instagram, but also on YouTube, I am a huge fan of yours, I've learned thank so you. many words, uh, so much vocabulary that I have never met before in the books that I used to um, read when I started learning English. So, thank you. Thank you. That was perfect, B. Your pronunciation is clear. Your English is also very fluent. I heard some very nice vocabulary in there, uh, like juggle and also busy as a bee. That was also very nice. Thank you so much for participating. Hello, Antonio. Hello. Uh, my name is Ramon. I'm from Brazil. I'd like to, to know if you speak like this, you speak like your video with native person, with native people, because mm. uh, I think that you speak very well, very clearly, and normally people don't speak like this in English. And I'm a little bit complex with speak with people because I am a little bit ex ashamed about my English, I'm sorry. And ashamed, ashamed. I like a lot your content, keep doing it. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Um, okay, so first of all, let me just tell you, you should not feel ashamed. Please do not feel ashamed. You should be proud 
of the fact that you speak more than one language. You know, it's not that easy. Not everybody can say that about themselves, and you can. It doesn't matter if you speak it super fluently or just a little bit. You can communicate. You just did. And that's something that you should be proud of, not ashamed. And then you asked me a really interesting question. You wanted to know if I speak like this in my everyday life with a native person. And well, it depends. It depends who I'm talking to, the context we are in. When I teach English, I always try to have a very clear pronunciation. I try to enunciate every single letter, every single sound, because I want to make sure that everybody can understand what I'm saying. When I'm talking to a native person in an everyday conversation, what changes, I guess, is that I speak a little bit faster. Maybe I, uh, you know, I don't enunciate everything. I try to connect sounds more. But overall, I don't feel like it's that much of a difference. I tend to always be very clear. It's just who I am. I don't like to, to mumble, you know? Hello, my name is Irina. I really like your account. It's very interesting and useful. I want to tell you a little bit about Eurovision. I love Eurovision. I watch it every year. So do I. And I actually was there this year. Wasn't that freaking amazing? I really enjoyed the performance of the famous band The Erasmus. I haven't listen, listened to them that often before, but after Eurovision I la listened to their songs on repeat. Sorry to interrupt you. Make sure you don't say listen. The T in listen is silent. Listen, listen. They have very interesting, simple and clear lyrics in their songs. I listen to them and translate them. I think this is a very good way to learn English. It really Thank is. You. Thank you. Yeah, actually listening to music and uh, reading lyrics is a very useful exercise. So keep doing that. Thank you so much for your message, Irina. All right, guys. That's it for today. Thank you so much for sending me your messages. And again, I am so, so sorry if you did not make it into this video. I got so many messages, I couldn't have possibly featured them all. But if you guys enjoy this type of content, I will keep making it. So next time, make sure you send me your message again. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, activate the notification bell so you never miss any of my new videos, and you could also send me a super thanks to support my work. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!